welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining us today. If you find this video interesting or helpful, please consider subscribing. It really helps my little channel grow. So today I have a confession. You guys saw it in the title. I lied. And you know what? I didn't mean to lie. So hopefully that absolves me in some way. But I am talking about my Louis Vuitton PM Planner. If you guys follow me for a little while, you know that I'm obsessed with this thing. It's my everything. Um, it's my everything. I love it so much. And it comes with me everywhere I go. I use it as a wallet and to track my finances and a bunch of things. And so when I first got this planner, I made a video talking about it and I was saying how, you know, a lot of people get it and then they end up selling it because the rings that come with a PM are very small. So it's actually really hard to use it effectively. And so in that video, I talked about how that's not true. And you can actually use it effectively with those small rings. And I definitely stand by that. You can. But just because you can do something doesn't mean that you should. Because since I've been using this every single day, I've definitely found myself thinking, oh my god, I wish I had more space. I wish I had more space. And with that, I backtracked on what I had said before and I did it. I bought the replacement rings for the LVPM and I changed them. And oh my god, you can fit so much more now. I don't know if you guys are familiar with how thin it was before. I definitely should have recorded a uh, before um, shot of this. I didn't. But you can fit almost twice as much, which makes me twice as excited as I was already about this planner. Um, I love it. And so I bought the replacement rings. I'm going to show you how to change them in case that's of interest to you. If you also have an LVPM and you want to try to change them. It's a pretty simple process. It's a little tricky, but it's pretty simple. So we'll walk through it together. I will also link the rings below. Listen, I looked everywhere, okay? I was convinced I could find these rings on Etsy impossible. There's one company called Gilio, based in Belgium. Only company that sells these rings. I don't know how that's the case. I don't know how they got the Monopoly. Maybe they created them. I don't know. Either way, Gilio is the only place where you can buy these rings. So I'm gonna link them down below. Um, they're a bit pricey, um, especially with shipping, but again, this planner, oh my god, you can do so much with it! now that it has the big rings. So today we're going to talk about how to switch the rings and then I'm going to make another video, um, of course preparing for the new year, um, on how I'm going to plan for the new year and how I'm going to set up my planner for that. So I'm very excited about everything that is to come. Um, but anyway, for now, let's go and change these rings. Okay, so here's what you're going to need. Obviously you need your new year rings, you need your planner, and then a couple of tools. I have two sets of pliers as well as a tiny screwdriver that I got from one of those sets to fix your eyeglasses. And that one was the best tool to use. So what you want to do is lift this little metal flap that you see there. Obviously um, you can see that the little screwdriver was easiest for me to use. So this planner holds the rings with two little metal flaps, one on each side. That's it. So when you lift it up, the rings easily slide out magic. Um, you can see here the planner is disgusting. I can't really blame whoever owned this first for not cleaning it because who would take that out? But we'll do that um, for sure. You can see here the two rings. You can see how the new ones are so much bigger. It's crazy. So here I'm just gonna clean all of that gross stuff from the back of the planner and then I'm gonna grab my new rings and I'm gonna slide them onto the flap that we didn't lift. So there's two flaps, we only lifted one. The other one is still down. So the rings have this little slit made out of metal and that is what you can insert into the little flap that is pressing down onto the planner. You can see that little flap is still down so now I'm going to grab the rings and I'm going to slide them into that little flap. Like so. Perfect. And now I have to go to the other side, center the flap that we lifted, and press it down to pinch the rings in place. So that it's centered, I'm testing that it's not wobbly, it's good. So now I have to pinch it. 
Um, I used a little cloth or tissue that I used to clean it to protect the canvas as I pinch. And just a set of pliers. And that is it. It is now pinched in place. The rings are firm in place. And now you can fit almost twice as many inserts as you could before. Crazy. There you have it. Super, super simple. This is just a great way to make sure that you use your planner if you have one of these LVPMs um, and you're not sure how to use rings or like how to use it effectively with the tiny rings. This is a great way to make sure that you can use it. If you guys haven't noticed, I am extremely sick. You can tell with my voice, but I have been sicker in the past week, so I'm actually doing better. Thank you. Thank you so much for changing the rings with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you did, and I will see you soon with another video.